Okay, so there it is, Atlas 4200, the Trailblazer. It has a pressure plate with a 10 and a half inch clutch on it and a good amount of material, two inches of material all around. It's possible, so far this didn't even cost anything to make these adaptions. Okay, using the same lathe adapter here that I used on the uh, flywheel, I'm going to make the flywheel spacer, hopefully. Now we got a perfect circle. Now I just need to drill the other points. Oh, and bore out the middle. Let me go get my boring bars. to go here. Yep, right about there. Alright, a little bit of work, but I think that's there. Just got to find centers on these and I've got a spacer.
Alright, not too bad. Seems to line up pretty good. Not bad for an hour or two of work. Nice and tight. Hopefully that's enough clearance for it to clear all this, whatever's going on back here. Okay, next it's the starter spacer. I'm assuming you just need to have that clear so the flywheel will spin or run with this thing retracted or just barely retracted. It's about three eighths of an inch. So this will be fun. So the bolts land right new bolt holes land right on the edge so you can do it. <clears throat> I thought I was gonna have to use an end mill, but um, nope, just a regular old drill bit just works fine. Tap, tap them for 5 16 bolts, that's all I'm doing. And bolt it all up, I could even I could even put my transmission on there. I got an AR5 sitting in there. Go all the way with it. All right, there it is. Got everything re-drilled. Got it all torqued down to 65 pounds. Hopefully that's what it's supposed to be. Blue Loctite. So let's put this, uh, let's try to assemble this thing, this pressure plate and disc. Okay, here is a, I think it's a 10. Yep, let me get this angle here. 10 and a half inch Mustang disc. You've got this much chip material here a street clutch this thing is at most gonna have a supercharger on it I'm not gonna be running 40 pounds of boost or anything but whatever a uh, Vortec V2 puts out that might go on here but anyway it's a full-size clutch big diameter way better than the original or whatever people are saying nine and an eighth that's pretty small <laughs>
All right, here's the difference of the clutches before I put it together. They're both 10 and a half inches in outer diameter. I think this is, this might be a later like Hummer or 2009 or something. This is a Ford Mustang with the 26 spline for hopefully the, uh, the AR5. I better check that out first. Okay, well, I guess that's a good sign. It fits. Again, this is the 26 spline, 10 and a half. I bought this on eBay, 10 and a half clutch for a Mustang. I guess it says Tremec conversion, whatever that means. Okay, so I'm sure this is gonna be a question. Um, it looks like the inside of this is six and a half. The inside of this is six and an eighth. So this is gonna be fully contacting this. Okay, so I've got the bell housing on and two of these little forks here at the flange. I am getting four and a, four and a quarter, four and three sixteenths, something like that. So, so from here to here, but you have to, let's see if I can do this. You have to compress this thing. So I'm getting to the surface there about three and I think I've got three and five eighths or it's showing right now about three and three quarters to this point here. So this, I'll probably have to make them instead of buying them. So I'm not gonna be able to get this done today, but the engine doesn't run anyway. So I think what I need to do is, is bring this thing out kind of like the, uh, the eighth inch flywheel shim. I don't like paying for things, so I'll probably make it myself. I'm sure it'll take me half an hour, but um, that's what I'm gonna have to do with this next is shim this thing out. It looks like it's all flat here. I saw them online. I think Texas Performance or Texas Speed has them, but you know, for 30 bucks, I could I could probably make one faster <clears throat> and just stuff I've got laying around. I got a lot of stuff laying around. Anyway, so that's what's next. Thanks for watching, subscribe, all of that. Thank you.